solving personal problems, and building confidence Alex's journey. Have you ever felt like an outsider in your own community or country? Have you ever wondered how some people seem so happy, build rapport easily, and create meaningful relationships effortlessly? Today, I'm going to share with you how to work through your personal challenges and solve your own problems using secrets I've learned throughout my life. Many struggle with these issues in silence, but you don't have to. Remember, everybody passes, but not everybody lives. Your current problems might have roots deep in your ancestry. It's time to break the cycle of endless broken dreams. Let's help Alex solve his problems and in turn, help you solve yours. Imagine giving advice to a friend. What would you say? To truly understand and solve our problems, we might need to revisit the path. This journey will help us understand why we think, feel, and behave the way we do. Awareness of our past allows us to move forward with a plan to learn, cope, and grow. Remember, everyone is on their own journey, carrying their own weights. Your challenges are unique, so don't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to past versions of yourself. Children learn from their parents, present or absent. Role models shape us, and sometimes, like Alex, we learn from reverse role models. Alex never wanted to be like his parents, who had both good and bad traits. He learned to accept that his parents might have had similar or worse childhoods. They were not optimal, embodying negative, scarce, and avoidant. Alex always wondered why his mother left. When he saw his parents' divorce papers, he was speechless. They divorced when he was just six months old. People told him to talk about it, but they couldn't understand his pain. Alex felt like a broken mug on a shelf, and he didn't want to cast his clouds over others' heads. He didn't want to relive the most painful part of his life. There's nothing anyone could say to make him feel better. Breakups taught Alex to put himself first, helping men often have to create their own value. If a knife isn't sharpened regularly, it gets dull. Studies show that people bond more easily with those who share similar cultures, languages, and phenotypes. Asian people make up about 7% of the US population, but as of mid-2023, Asia is home to roughly 4.54 billion people, making it the most populated continent in the world. Alex learned to accept that he is different and to love, understand, and have compassion for himself. If you heard your friend's life story, you'd likely have more compassion for them than you do for yourself. Alex learned to treat himself better than he treats his friends. With awareness, technology and practice, he has the opportunity to grow. The love Alex has for himself is proportion. Imagine your life as a knife. It needs regular sharpening to stay effective. Similarly, Alex has persisted with discipline, aiming to break the cycle of depression and broken dreams. People treat others the way they feel about themselves. You don't get what you deserve. You get what you neg- Alex grew up without his mother, with an avoidant father and brother. He didn't want to upset his father and wanted to prove his worth. Asian culture often encourages introversion, which can be disingenuous. Alex had a stepmother but didn't love himself. He subconsciously put himself in bad situations, surrounded by the wrong people. He was a minority in school, didn't speak his native language well, had poor English communication skills and repeated the first grade. His Asian name was hard to pronounce and remember. Low socioeconomic status added to his struggles. He started working at the stages of his childhood were disrupted. Alex was a loner, living in the past, impatient, and wishing for a different life. He was unaware of his lack of self-love, which led him to pessimistic, limited mindsets, and survival mode. Alex also has hyperthyroidism, causing excess sweating, excessive hunger, fatigue. Alex endured physical and mental abuse at home and school. His father called him stupid, and classmates used racial slurs. 
Alex hated his eyes, skin, and life. He felt like a stranger in his home and country, living Alex focused on his past instead of living in the moment. He was anxious and played video games or worked stressful jobs to cope. As an introvert, he rarely spoke about his painful past. The victim mindset and lack of communication in English and body language led to low self-esteem and self-love. Alex didn't trust others, leading to neediness and surround- Events don't define Alex. He learned that he must educate himself and practice a positive mindset. Replacing painful memories with current dreams and goals is essential. Alex realized that nobody can solve his problems but himself. Problems don't imagine a fish being tricked by a worm on a hook. Alex realized that solving his problems meant confronting them head on, not running away. He saw others as perfect or having better starts, but everyone has imperfections and skeletons. Alex is on track, living a great life, and not comparing himself to those with unfair advantages. He understands to solve your problems, count your blessings, read and listen to positive self-development books, and perform under pressure. Learn to be comfortable with discomfort. Practice speaking to strangers, smile, and engage in hobbies you love. Build confidence through self-defense, research, and independence. Maintain good hygiene, focus on fitness, finance, and fashion, and have the courage to face your fears. Don't hide your flaws. Embrace them. Alex is still fighting the good fight. He tries to be kind and honest with integrity. He's experienced pain but doesn't tolerate nonsense in his personal life. Alex learned that familiarity breeds connection and that we attract mirrors of ourselves. He's learning to feel worthy and loved, understanding that life plays out as it's meant to. Alex strives to save himself, filling the void of love from his family, himself, and others. If Alex can do it, so can you. Brace your journey, and remember, you have the power to change your mindset, skills, environment, and intelligence. Your problems don't define you. They're opportunities for growth. Keep fighting. Stay pop. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please show some love by hitting the like button, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's grow together.